Hello, very good day to you. It's fair to say that the weather during the run-up to Easter is going to be a bit messy, pretty changeable. There'll be some unsettled spells around. To understand why, let's start off looking the other side of the Atlantic. And here we have an active jet stream that is going to dip down to the south of us, bringing some unsettled weather to Iberia this week. But from the UK's point of view, it means we end up stuck with low pressure just to the west of us, low pressure not going anywhere particularly fast. And so for the UK, it's going to feel like we're stuck in a bit of a washing machine with various spells of wet and at times blustery weather. But looking back at the here and now, and as we go through Monday evening overnight into Tuesday, low pressure dominating towards the southwest of us, bringing a blustery theme at times and various spells of wet weather around. First thing on Tuesday morning, outbreaks of showery rain with some hill snow across eastern northeastern parts of Scotland, and then a swathe of rain pushing its way northwards across initially central southern England, edging a little bit further the northwards too, bringing some outbreaks of rain to Wales at times and some outbreaks of rain across parts of Northern Ireland also. Across northern parts of England, eastern parts and into East Anglia, there will be some decent dry bright weather through a good chunk of the morning, but turning cloudier here as we go through the day. Meanwhile, towards the southwest, we are going to see some bright or sunny spells and just a few showers to watch out for here. Temperatures are around or a little bit below average for the time of year for most of us, but across parts of Scotland in particular, a bit chillier here. And uh, when you factor in the wind chill, it will feel a little bit cold at times too. Later on, as we go through Tuesday night into Wednesday, this, the more persistent rain across England pushes its way northwards into Scotland. Could be some heavy persistent rain and some hill snow across Scotland as we go through the early hours of Wednesday, but that will gradually clear away towards the north as we go through the day. Some drier, bright weather for many places first thing on Wednesday, but turning cloudier as we go through the day. We are going to have some hefty, perhaps even thundery, showery outbreaks across western, and southwestern parts initially, and that will all feed its way eastward northeastwards across many parts as we go through the day. So most places at risk of seeing some potentially heavy showers for a time and there could be some hail and some thunder mixed in with these as well. Yes, there will be some bright or perhaps even sunny spells in between any showers, but I think the greatest chance of any dry, bright, sunny weather will be across central and perhaps eastern parts during the morning. Temperatures similar or perhaps a touch higher compared to Tuesday, particularly across Scotland here, there's a reasonable chance that we'll just about get into double figures. As we go into Thursday and we stick with low pressure to the west of us, like I said, it isn't going anywhere particularly soon. And so we are still going to have some blustery weather around and also quite a bit of showery rain too. The focus for the showery rain does look like it will stay across more western parts here. That's where we have the greatest chance of some hail and some thunder and perhaps the heaviest rain too. That being said though, most places likely to see some outbreaks of rain at times and they could be potentially heavy and possibly disruptive at times as well. There will be something a little bit drier in between and temperatures perhaps starting to rise, although no major increase on Thursday compared to what we've seen earlier on in the week for many of us. Across parts of Scotland, still the potential for something a little bit wintry over the highest ground. As we look towards Friday, and by now we will be starting to drag in some milder, perhaps even some warmer air from the southwest. So temperatures will be rising, but we stick with low pressure still, and so the blustery, showery theme continues. That being said, the showers will be starting to ease. So there will still be some heavy ones. There could still be some hail, could still be some thunder mixed in at times, but perhaps the showers won't be quite as frequent, not quite as intense as we'll have seen early, earlier on in the week. That being said, though, you can see there will be plenty of showers around for many of us. Potential for some more persistent rain to clip southeastern parts, a bit of uncertainty about that. Like I said, we're dragging in some warmer air by Friday, so temperatures starting to creep up, likely to get towards the mid-teens, so feeling a little bit warmer for many of us as we go through Good Friday. Looking ahead through the rest of Easter weekend, and there are some tentative signs that it might start to turn a little bit drier for many of us. You can see there will still be some outbreaks of showery rain around Around, so it's definitely not going to be completely dry and some of that rain could still be heavy, possibly even thundery. But we're just suggesting that there's a greater chance that we could see some more 
prolonged dry spells. So it won't definitely be totally dry. In fact, I think there's a good chance that it will stay generally quite changeable with some further rain at times, but just a chance that it will be slightly less miserable than it has been during the run up to the Easter weekend. And with that then, temperatures also going to rise a little bit further. So at times it's actually going to feel a little bit warm, a bit more spring-like compared to what we've seen recently. The other thing to remember about this weekend is on Saturday night, the clocks do spring forward. Yes, we lose an hour of sleep, but it does mean our evenings are going to get lighter. That's it for me. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.